coastal communities of Solomon Islands depend on the oceans for food, income and building materials. 75% of the population are subsistence oriented smallholder fishers and farmers. Yet, two important natural resources are under threat, mangroves and coral reefs. Inspiration for replanting, I'm start off uh, time fishing all night, then no catching fish here. And then the question now is why now we may not catching fish? Why now not any fish low place? So me try look back, but what place where out fish ought to grow low him? What to breed low him? What to spoil him now? What cut them down for firewood? So that's why we say, oh, we may replant him back so that what the fish come back and breed low him. Mangroves are important ecosystems. Their strong roots provide a barrier to protect the land from waves and erosion. They provide a nursery ground for fish to breed and a safe, sheltered habitat for juvenile fish to grow before they move out to the reefs. Without mangroves, fish populations struggle. Recognising this, there are communities driving action to replant mangroves in Langa Langa Lagoon. So we will decide for at least do something about it, yeah? You cannot leave him forest for him. Let me, let me, yeah, break down, go down number and every species or cut them down and everything without doing something about it. We will live long enough inside the mangroves, yeah? So we will save no more one of them shall happen inside the mangroves. The CGIAR Research Programme on Aquatic Agricultural Systems, or AAS, has coordinated workshops on the importance of replanting mangroves. Workshops have been led by community experts. You go around, you start looking at small, small trees below mangroves, which go out to grow from what a proper gills here. Suppose you pick him, those were fresh ones and this fall down. Him usually lay down straight no on top of there, not that. Otherwise, by some fall, but you notice him got him like this one. Him got him root finish here. Time suppose you like out him uh, proper gill yeah? Suppose him got him root finish. Suppose me shake him, but him no him strong. Usually leave him stop. But suppose him got him fresh roots no more, like this one. Me shall still pick him. So, me will just, yeah? Plant no more, plant no more. Whatever way me think him straight for planting, me will do him. One fella advantage below planting manguru is you don't need for clearing bush so that you plant him. You don't need him for weeding. You just go no more, poke him no more, leave him stop, him grow now. If we all sit back and just watch, then this fella distraction or whatever, but him continue. Otherwise, the only way is you get up and do something about it. Yeah. Coral reefs are also threatened. Communities use coral to build their homes. Coral is also being burnt to create lime, an ingredient which is chewed together with betel nut and is an important local commodity. With better management practices, the community can still use coral and safeguard the vital reefs on which they depend. There many fish inside the lagoon. And we are looking at them if coral have come back inside the lagoon, but fish start to come back inside the lagoon too. A coral planting workshop facilitated by AAS teaches participants how to collect cuttings from healthy coral and create a coral garden. When the cuttings grow to reach a certain size, they can be moved out to the reef to continue growing. Areas of reef heavily used can be rejuvenated. I think him same 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 if I'd got him garden because I'd need for look after him. Or I can't just plant him and leave him there and forget him. This whole idea me really sort of support him for good here. From the bottom of my heart because me valo langla was a garden blue me valna or she so much much better if me valo sort of uh, uh, got awareness come about coral planting and all or got something there. For me valo involved inside and then must do sort of some sort of a hard work, yeah? We must insist and must work hard for, for future blooming, or the people blooming, or the picking will come later. <laughs>